Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigval here, welcome back to another video. So in this one we got um, Raven, Raven. With, the, with level 10 or a snow globe. We got, um, hold on, I can't click on it, I can't see where the character is because of the cat sitting in front of it. But yes, there are a bench here with puppets. And, um, bro, look, look at this guy. Look at this. A little goof, goofy man. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and we get uh, Martian Manter with ther thermal gloves. Like the... Oh, Network Hair, what is that? But yeah, like the uh, Sir Banshee Class Ascension Passive is not great. The Arcane Class Ascension Passive is not great in general. It's basically giving you half of the attack that God Killer is stealing, usually. And you're not really using God Killer usually for the attack steal, so it's not gonna be too big of a deal. But it's something, it's better than nothing. And it's a lot more impactful in League Invasions, I guess. Because you're also stealing attack and you're preventing people from killing you that way. In uh, Soul Raids, you don't have problems with dying that often. But yeah, if I'm using Puppets or Bench, the passive is gonna stack itself. I mean, on Sir Benchy, the passive would stack itself no matter what, because that's her gameplay using specials. It would be a lot harder to stack on something like Raven. You would have to go out of your way to do that with Raven, for example. But Sir Benchy, nah, bro, she's doing specials anyway. Okay, we got the infinite power here. Oh, 69 mil, nice. We just, need, we just need to make sure we don't lose Raven Darkness. Because if that happens, um, we're no longer going to be able to see it. Because it's going it to uh, get overtaken by the other negative effects. Uh, yeah, probably can tank this. Okay. Yeah, just remember I have Super Move available, so we might as well do that too. And yeah, March Manta with the uh, negative effect extension is very nice. Also because if she he extends the duration of the Raven Darkness, which allows us to stay in the fight for longer. I mean, generally speaking, it's not something you want with Raven, because most of the things that you have with Raven have better synergies and better combinations with other things. Bro, can we, like, crits, by the way? I feel like we're really getting robbed on crits in this one. Like, come on. Okay, three disabled crits. There we go, 88 mil. Okay, this is looking a bit iffy. I don't actually know if we're gonna one-shot this. Might be a little bit close. Okay, that's a nice crit. Come on, buddy. Come on. Reset that darkness. At the crits. Okay, 88 mil. That's nice. It's definitely gonna be a close one, actually. I don't even know if Raven will need to reset Darkness or if it's worth to do so. Or I should just stay the whole duration in. Yeah, I think we're staying the whole duration in. Because this guy should be dead by the time Darkness expires. There we go. 10 seconds left. This was actually a lot closer than uh, I was expecting. Let's move on to the next fight. Okay, this is an API setup that I like for the bare minimum. Because we're giving her Joker, which nobody really needs. It's not doing much for her, like, he increases the um, Lake of Anarchy dot damage by a little bit, but it's not a huge amount. And then we got the API with Kamidogu Dagger, and then we have Classic Conrum with uh, North Snowball for passive stats, and we're gonna have some crit damage, we're gonna have some lethal damage from the API class passive, and some damage from the Kamidogu Dagger. And this is kind of putting the least possible resources into this team. I mean, Classic Wonderman might be something that you might need in other places. And it was kind of between her and Flash, but I'm like, nah, bro, I'm gonna need Flash for the Moral Combat team anyway. So I'm not sure it would have been like the minimum investment choice there. I think Classic Wonderman is something more expendable. And we don't have any direct damage buffs or anything. I mean, we have direct damage buffs, so I don't have anything we need to do during the fight. Like, no Zitkana, no 
Perlesil's Super Gullish is EPI hitting the enemy from beginning to ends. I think we can tank this. Yeah, we're fine. Oh boy. I lost so much damage in those two jump attacks, bro. Can we can we can we start the combo on her? I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. She almost backed her out of that too, and she was gonna jump attack again. Which would be lovely. And by that I mean annoying. But yeah, we got her in the corner. There's nothing she can do at this point. All I need to do is just to not mess up the combo interruption because we lose all the damage. And we have one within 40 seconds left roughly. I'm not sure that's gonna be enough, but we'll see. But yeah, you can't really go lower than this. If this one-shots, and it's probably gonna one-shot. This is close to the bare minimum effort you can put into dealing damage with DPI. I mean, not really, because this is unstunnable, by the way, so we, we can't use Harley here. And, um... I kind of forgot what I want to say there. But yeah, it's not a really minimum effort because you need to combo in shop. So in terms of gameplay, it's actually maximum effort. But it's minimum resource investment and I messed up. It's okay, we didn't lose much damage. Oh, I messed up again. Now we lost a lot of damage. Oh, because I can't swipe because her special 2 disables my swipe. That's annoying. That is so annoying. But I think we got this. I think we got this. And yeah, it's annoying, but it's my fault, because if I didn't mess up, she would not have hit me with that, obviously. Yeah, not sure if we have enough time to kill her now that I messed up. It's gonna be a close one. Come on. Come on, we can do this. There we go, 7 seconds left. Could have been a lot smoother, but hey, it works. Let's take a look at the rewards we got for this one. Oh wow, we got we got Flora Poison Ivy here and Amulet of Tech. That's that's insane, guys. Okay, so you have uh, Batman Drowned with Cat Killer, Robin with Puppet, and then John here with Hermal Gloves. This man does not have kill stagging, thankfully. That's the last thing we needed here, and there is a girl that does that anyway. So that's where I got that um, here from. But this man still has the reflective shield. Now, Robin King is gonna start disabling the reflective shield as soon as we activate Batman the Drowned passive, which is the order of things we were gonna do it anyway. Special one, get infinite power going. Combo in chopped his ass and let's start dealing percentage shell damage here. Okay, get Batman drowned in there. We can tank Super with no problem. Yep. Four mil four K damage by that super mode. It would have literally not killed me even without passive stats. Let's do a few hits because we're starting to lose crit damage. Keep spamming that Robin King special one. Starting to lose damage. Do a few hits. Yeah, this went well. Are we gonna kill him by 1 minute and 30 seconds left? Yes! Oh boy, that was fast. Let's move on to the next fight. Okay, so here we have Scorpion with North Snow Globe. We get um, Raiden with Dark Metal cards. And then we have uh, just like Flash with the Thermal Gloves. Let's get this going. Uh, this man uh, is going to be a bit annoying to combo and drop. And I'm going to try my best to get the um, uh, clones going. The clone going with the passive. Because I messed up yesterday. 
because you need to tag the clone out as soon as you do a third special. I just thought it was not that important of a detail. But apparently, as you guys pointed out in, in the comments, if you want permanent dot damage for your Raiden triggered by a Scorpion clone, the clone needs to tag out the moment after it uses the third special immediately. I can afford to get hit by that, but we should avoid getting hit by further special ones, because the clone needs to have some power. Okay, it's missing some from the third special. Okay, tag out, tag out, tag out. Okay, we got it, we got it. We got permanent dot damage going. This guy needs to chill a bit, there we go. As well, super move here. And now we got him back in the corner. We got our smell cards, so that's gonna be a lot of damage. And that's long as I don't mess up the combo interruption too bad. Like we're dealing so much damage, I have, I, I have the luxury of messing up quite a few times. Is so one shot this. I love Raiden with Scorpion so much, especially with Nora Snuggle Strat. I love both strats, but it's kind of garbage that they are, all, all they are is kind of workarounds to try to make this thing work. It's the fact that the enemy jumps out of these Scorpion Terror special is crazy annoying in the first place. So every single strategy of Raiden plus Scorpion is not necessarily trying to make them deal a ton of damage because they already do it's trying to avoid the enemy constantly making your life hell because of their gameplay but yeah this went extremely well probably one of my best uh, raiden scorpion or snow globe fights remember guys you need to hit the enemy with the third special of the clone and the clone needs to tag out as soon as possible but yeah let's move on Okay, so this looks dumb and it kind of sounds dumb but i'm gonna try bait the club nightwing with um, Arlie, so we get additional damage against stun targets, and with Puppet Zatanna, so le let's see how this goes. I don't have high hopes for this, but hey, if it can clear the 1.3 billion damage that this man is left with, I'll be more than happy. Like, honestly, at that point, it's it's gonna be beyond expectations if you can clear this. First up, I need to generate some power for Zatanna. Okay, we got the burning up. Okay, we got special disabled. And Nightwing is gonna give me infinite power now. The Tana back end. Right now, our damage is absolute garbage with the Beta Club. But that should change in a bit. He also wanna stun his ass. And like, do the Beta Club dot while he stuns. Okay, now we tag out. Oh, 4.5, that's not great. That's really not great. But who knows, maybe it gets better. That was not the crit. Oh, 12, 12 mil, 12 mil, let's try to keep that. Though never, 16 mil even. Though it has a hard time critting actually. Okay. Oh, 24. I'm gonna leave it at that. That's a nice value, actually. Okay, that was bad. Yeah, I guess we can leave it at this. We're not gonna get more than 12 mil. It's not too bad. But it's gonna... Actually, it's not decreasing that much after the stun goes away. Okay, let's stun him again. 
Oh, 24 mil, let's go, let's go, I like that. We're kind of running out of time, though. Oh, he blocked that. That sucks. Though we we got it, we got it, we got him stunned. Can we can we get a nice value here? Uh, yeah, looks like I kind of messed up here at the end. All I need was a decent value there. Uh, can we get a decent value now? Uh, kind of. Come on, come on, kill me. This is enough. Nope. He is still alive, ladies and gentlemen, with barely any health, probably. Oh wow, 20, 26 mil, yeah, he, he, he's got a little bit. But yeah, there's Nightwing dealing 1.3 mil damage. I mean, Zitana dealing percentage health damage obviously did something like 300 mil out of this. But yeah, there's there's Nightwing with Beta Club and with Harley. I, I don't know if we can take this much further or make him much better than he performed. Probably with the most optimal gameplay in the world, you're gonna get like 1.5 mil out of this one. But probably will not hit 2 billion damage with this but it performed quite decently we see we have beast boy with puppets we got manta with uh, thermal gloves and we got collector with north snow globe i mean i don't really have a six character to put in here and literally everything collector is gonna do for this team is uh, after I'm done with the combo that the Super Move allows me to keep, maybe I will keep combo for one, two more third specials because collectors here. But yeah, I really don't need any additional characters in this team. This is this is enough. I could have instead of collector, I could have had a random silver character, and it would not have made a difference. Okay, we do have enough um, power for a Beast Boy special now. Okay, that's infinite power. Let's make sure we keep it. It's gonna soon super move. I, I think I can tank this. I guess we'll find out. Okay, 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 do it, do it. I'm not afraid. Oh, oh, that's nothing. That That is absolutely nothing. Okay, we got 40 kids there. Bro, what? Why did he... What was that? Did you guys see that? He literally didn't take dot damage from like a couple of third specials and I even almost lost infinite power because of him. What was that? What was that? I mean, literally had damage. I mean, he didn't have damage immunity because I was still dealing the red values from the third special. I have no idea what happened there. But y'all have been said, thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, this activist liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!